So let's see guys how to output variables in Python. Uh, till now what we have seen is that uh, if you want to output the value of x, for example over here, the value of x is hello world. And if we print that, then we'll get the output as hello world over here, right? Uh, however, there are some more uh, things to it and we'll learn them one by one. Okay then, let's go to our VS Code and create a new file and give it a name. So I'm going to name my file as output variables.py. So this is the name of my file and let's see uh, the first uh, traditional way of outputting the variable. Uh, we'll take the same example of hello world. Let me drag this up so that we can see our console very well. Okay, now let's say if we have the variable as x and if we give the value to it as hello world, then I should be able to print the same value as x over here. And once we have done that, let's go ahead and run this file. And see we get the output as hello world but what if we want to print multiple values so let's say if we have hello over here we want to have y as world right so how we are going to do that what we can do is one way of doing it is you just add comment over here and then type the next variable and save it. Once you have done that, run the file again and you get the same result. Right? Because we are printing X and Y both. So if you see, when I'm, when I'm printing this thing without space after hello, still it gives the space over here and if i add another space to it it will add the space once again over here so when you when you print anything with comma separated then you do not have to uh, give give the space in between it auto automatically takes the space this is one way of doing it let's go ahead and check the other options too let's say if you want to print multiple uh, values over here so let's say if you write x as my and y as name and then z as john okay let's write over here like this my name is john and if you want to print the same thing you can also use plus signs so what it will do is it will add all three values over here since we are writing it like this print x plus y plus z now you'll see the result will be a little different from how we how we used to get in uh, how we used to get in comma separated right so if you see there's no space in between uh, when when you add them by plus sign so in this case you need to give the space over here if, if at all you want to have the spaces as well so in this situation if you want to add variables uh, this plus sign what it will do is it will add them one uh, one after another and in case if you have any numbers in, instead of strings then it, it acts as a math operator so let's say if you have 2 plus 2 and 3 over here let's see what it outputs in the print command so let's say if we have this and then again if we run that first of all let me clear this okay now if we have uh, x value as 2 and y value as 3 and if you print it by by saying that uh, you want to add x plus y it will not show you 23 but what it will show you is 5 by adding both of them so you see the result is 5 over here it added 2 plus 3 so this is how it works uh, by by adding adding or I mean if you if you have a plus sign over here 
it acts like a like an operator similarly if you have minus over here it again acts like a like an operator and then you can output the, the value over here i mean output the result over here after subtracting three out of two so that gives you minus one now let's say what if you have one of them as variable and one of them as as a string what happens then so let's say x is john and y is three do you think it will show an output no it will give you an error over here you cannot add a string and a number together they, they both have to be of the same type to add them together this is about printing it however if you if you want to print them and if you write like this then th there's a different story then it will add both of them and print it so that's all guys this is how you output the variables in python if you have any questions uh, please comment down in the comment section below and i'll be happy to answer that thank you so much and if you have not subscribed yet please subscribe my channel i'm going to uh, post more videos like this uh, related to python and other languages as well so stay tuned and subscribe to my channel and like the video if you have liked thank you so much